Nixon Kakiri and his wife are both deaf, but they have known how to live with the condition for quite a while now. Of late, however, communication between the two has proven difficult, especially in public. Any person visiting a supermarket or any other open-air market to begin wearing protective masks immediately. That's because they are required to wear face masks in public as per the government directives. Problem is, the masks are hindering effective communication, not just for Kakiri and his wife, but for the over 4% of the Kenyan population who are considered part of the deaf community. As it is right now, this lining has been covered. So, this one is not transparent. So when a person is communicating, you, you are not able to see the mouth. You cannot see the facial expressions because with a transparent one, it is easier. What Nixon is talking about is what sign language trainer Lawrence Musili describes as mouthing and lip reading. Key ingredients used in sign language that the deaf depend on for effective communication, but one which is often inhibited by the regular face masks which cover the mouth. So ordinarily, in the deaf community, there is a lot of mouth movement, which is very, very important. We sign, but we don't cover our mouths. We can't sign while covering our mouths. That, we don't do that. So when you are signing, you must open your mouth. It's cultural with us. Lawrence lists down a variety of different words which all have the same sign and often have to be complemented by mouthing in order to be truly understood. Situation, condition, you can see through the lips. But in the deaf community, how we pronounce those words are quite different from how hearing people pronounce because a hearing person will pronounce it, but a deaf person will just guess any voice without a proper meaning. Regular masks used by a majority of the population, including the deaf, cover the mouth and part of the face. It's a situation that can be remedied through the use of a transparent mask. No government facility at the moment produces these. But we were able to trace an institution the Kenya Christian School for the Deaf, which produces the masks on a small scale. I'm telling you technology is a challenge, but we will push through. The school's founder explains the importance of these modified masks. Somebody in charge ought to understand the deaf, mm -hmm. and they, they, they are not supposed to assume them that the blocked mask that everybody uses is just conducive for them. It is not. They need a clear face mask that will enable them to communicate effectively because one, the deaf need that facial expression. For the school, production of the masks had to be improved because the first batch failed to meet the requisite quality tests. There is a challenge that we have here regarding the mask. The material that has been used to make the mask must, must be made of something which is to cover fog, because to prevent air or mist from blocking your mouth. So the materials used to make those clear masks must, be, must meet the correct standards. As chairperson for the Kenya National Association of the Deaf, Nixon, as well as his wife, hope that something will be done to help provide the masks at affordable prices to the deaf who desperately need them for effective communication in an era of face masks. Timothy Otieno, KTN News.